Oh, no! Nadira and Frax were being escorted to the prison, but an army of super-powerful Cyclobots ambushed the convoy and released the evil criminals. Watch your back, Ranger! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Power Rangers Time Force for the final level, as you might have been able to guess, as it's called the Final Mutation. Just like before, we're going to be running past all of the Cyclobots. We have no reason to fight them at all. It is worth mentioning... It is worth mentioning that this level is the one that you're most likely to die on, primarily because of the platforming. There isn't exactly a bunch of platforming in this level, but the platforming is way harder than in any of the other levels. I'm not sure if it's intended to be way harder, but as we discussed, because of the, wonking way, the wonky way the jumping works, it just is harder. Now, after you get used to the wonky jumping, yeah, this level's a breeze, but... You know, if you're doing a Let's Play of the game, and you had to play through the game three times, once to play through it, a second time to practice, and a third time to record it, and you're mentally checked out at this point, then yeah, I could see you falling a whole bunch. So give me a break. Now, to be fair, the design in this level isn't all bad. It's very simple, very basic obstacle evasion stuff. Like, you know to hide in these alcoves to hide from the gears and then jump when they pass. You've seen that in plenty of other games. It's nothing new. But it's not bad, either. It works. And you've seen similar obstacles to these pistons, too. Jump across the pistons when they're retracted, and you'll make it just fine. Again, nothing new. Seen it in every other game ever before this one. But it works. And this game is old, for what it's worth. It came out in uh, 2001, 2002. So this ancient game design, while still ancient, was a bit less ancient on the PS1. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's fine. We have 22 lives for a reason. And I may have made this game look and sound awful. That's because it's not good, but I, I also... I also probably made it seem way worse than it is. Like, for the most part, you're going to be able to make it through the game just fine. Especially in this final level, if you're just... If you're more... If you're more careful than me like the Yellow Ranger suggests you be, then this final level is not, not that bad at all. And if you're looking for a 3D Power Rangers game, you don't have much choice. We meet again, Time Force. I knew my daddy would never let me go to prison. This time, I won't let him down. If you recall, after the last level, our thump became electrified, and there are little zappy symbols on these panels, so if we use our new electrified thump on these panels, we can hurt Nadira, assuming she's standing on the adjacent platform. And this is the only way to hurt Nadira during this fight. Now to fight back, Nadira will occasionally do a backflip and hurl a purple, or is that pink, spiky thing at us? And it does hurt a lot, especially if you didn't pick up the health bonuses but it's easy to evade simply by moving left to right. Of course, the angle of the spiky thing does change depending on which platform Nadira is on, and whenever we need to charge our electric thump, we just move to the center platform. She has plenty of uh, openings, so we have a lot of time to do that. Not a terribly original or difficult fight, but it's not bad either, and it does use one of our, our uh, special ability gimmicks, similar to the fight I really liked in the second level, where we had to make rocks. Wait, this is exactly that fight again, isn't it? This is exactly the same thing as that fight where we made rocks fall on the bird monster. It just, the graphics are just changed, so it's zapping instead of rocks. This is the same idea. Well, now I don't like the fight anymore. Either way, now that that's over, we jump on this really cool elevator platform with flashing lights, and we almost immediately run into Frax. Have to climb a couple of, there he is. will destroy no more of my cyclobots. This time, I will finish you off. So I would like to say that Frax has a gimmick like Nadira, and you may have noticed there are zappy panels over to the sides for us to use our electric thump with. And I assume those do something. But unfortunately for Frax, it's a lot easier just to use the ground thump on him directly and then kick him afterward than to bother with those zappy panels. So you know, what I'd like to say and the reality of the situation are two very different things. I appreciate that they, as I assume, try to include a gimmick in this fight with Frax, but you also have to make sure the gimmick is easier to use than the default method of just running up and smacking the guy. Otherwise, the player isn't likely to bother with it. And since this is the boss rush level, immediately after we take down Frax, we're going to take down Rancic himself, the final boss, the big bad. Let's see what his boss room is like. Made it this.
this far. <laughs> well, you make it no further. <laughs> The Rancic boss fight has multiple levels that can be accessed via these tiny elevators, and it's a cute idea, but it doesn't do anything. Whenever we need more ground thump, we're just going to ride the elevators up to one of the panels, grab more ground thump energy, and then start ground thumping Rancic again. You may have noticed there are tiny machines on the bottom floor that it looks like we can ground thump next to to activate them. I didn't even know those were there when I recorded this. This is my third time playing the game and I didn't even notice those zappy panels and these machines next to them. I didn't notice them. Presumably they're a gimmick, but I just was so busy pounding on Rancic I couldn't see them. Amazing work, Ranger! Your life force bar is at a maximum! You are now the ultimate force in time! Rancic is mutating! Get ready for the toughest battle of your life! I regret to inform you that this Megazord battle is nearly identical to all of the others. The hardest Megazord fight was probably Gludo, which is a little insulting in itself. Rancic can do a Shockwave which deals a whole lot of damage, and it seems to be impossible to avoid when it starts, but he rarely gets the chance to use it. So yeah, this was Power Rangers Time Force on the PS1, the best 3D Power Rangers game. Which I know, again, is very depressing, but that's why I wanted to play it. And there are good Power Rangers games out there. There are plenty of those, they're just not in 3D for some reason. <laughs>